Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Honeywell and we're playing Overcrowd. Uh, we're going to go ahead and continue our Zone 2 campaign. The last time we were in Zone 2, we had a, a, a bit of a nightmare. Our station design was awful. Well, it was too small uh, for the level of traffic and there were some bugs. So I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing how we make out on Zone 2 this time. Uh, the little blurb, it's major problems with litter, which we're expecting. And there's, this is something new. Civil unrest is brewing. Expect more commuter rage here. So that's fun. Lots of guys punching people out. Always a good time. Uh, but before we uh, head off to Zone 2, uh, Rue brought up a good point in the comments the other day uh, that the game is much more flexible uh, with options for different play styles than it might appear from my gameplay. I choose to micromanage my staff more than need be for better results. I'd like the rep to reach 100% and stay there. Um, and also because we're playing on hard mode. You can see right up here, steeper rate of reputation change, more incidents and more expensive floor. I think we've seen a few times through uh, this playthrough that if there's a problem, our reputation can and does drop like a rock. Um, so that's part of the reason for my play style. But there's also easy mode, uh, which is very forgiving. Um, oh, well, I don't want to mess anything up. I don't know if you can switch <laughs> the level of difficulty between stations, um, which is very forgiving. And it gives you tons of time to respond to any issues that you might have. But beyond that, there's also a sandbox mode that I never went over. and. It's really nice. This is the kind of sandbox that you uh, you kind of dream of. And I usually have to rely on mods for this sort of customization. Um, all sorts of uh, presets, infinite money, starting money. You can set your bonds, all the tech unlocked, um, what you want gated, your appli applicants, your staff, uh, the win-lose um, conditions, the goals so much stuff uh, the scenarios commuter uh, behaviors um do you not like the drunks i hate the drunks <laughs> um so much stuff i'll just scroll through this and if you're interested you can see but this was something that was pretty interesting to me the wall tile set you can change the color of the walls this makes me very hopeful that there might be some more customization options uh in the final final game uh, but either way let's get back to our campaign exciting stuff monarch parade zone two let's go now it will come as no surprise or it shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone that i've already looked at this map uh, last week as soon as i finished recording uh, i zipped off to this map to take a look so i already have a um i already know that i think we want to start up here and I will, uh, I'll let you know how we got to that point. Uh, first of all, we have the goal for this level is to build four platforms. So we're going to need four rare lines. And we have these three, or excuse me, these four, all parallel. Um, so I think we're just going to ignore this platform going across here and just consider that the spoiler. Um, if we go back to get five stars on all of these levels, we can always put in a short, uh, a short train on either the top up here or the bottom down here. But we're not worried about that for now. Uh, and then we need a place to start. Now we have a couple places. Um, down here we have these two train tracks that are on the same level that are uh, super close together. Uh, so I really kind of like the way that this looked, uh, but I don't like the entrance space. Um, it doesn't give us much to work with in terms of like a nice, a nice lobby area where we can put lots of shops. Um, so I don't think we're going to start at this end of the map. And if we're starting down here, we have a couple options. New Lent Road is on the same level as this first train track here. And we also have uh, Money Street over here, which is also on the same level. Uh, but I believe we're going to start with New Lent Road because... Because why? For reasons. Um, 
because it would be easier to hook up Struggle Road and Money Street to this uh, first train track. I was thinking that we could have the, um, you know, the, the lobby that we like to do where we, you know, cut out a square, put some turnstiles on either side. We could put our buildings over on this side. Oh, do you know what? That's something I want to check to make sure still happens. Uh, let's do our little staff room trick and see if we can still do it. Do I need another? Mm, well, we could do it from this side. Let's try from this side. Put a door here and can we still collect these up? Okay, we can. I just wanted to make sure we can still have two doors. Because what I was thinking was we could put our staff rooms over here and then eventually we can, uh, so if we have our staff rooms taking up like this area, we can put double doors and then they can, um, they can connect to this lobby over here. So we'll start out here and then we can, we'll put our rooms over here. We'll put double doors on them so our staff can access them from this entrance. And then this entrance over here, let's get all this back so we have money to, uh, to play around. Now this entrance over here, oh, let's open up our ground again. If we have, if we need more traffic before we have money uh, to build a proper station, we can just put, you know, this small little three tile, get a stair down, and they can share uh, our lobby space from this entrance right here. So we can access this gate really quickly. But when we have money and time, um, we can open up this entrance and have it run kind of like, uh, kind of like stadium stairs, because it's going to take a bit for us to put in this track and then start going down. We're going to need uh, stairs or escalators to access these lower levels, and then again to get these ones down here. But we could build this platform off to the side here. And then we could have stairs going down each of these levels to access this stuff. So kind of like, um, kind of like a stadium almost. Is uh, what I'm imagining here. That's a, well, like, let's go down another level here so you can see. So then off to the side here, we'll have, we can have one long concourse and then we'll have uh, stairs going off to the side to access these platforms. At least that's what's in my imagination. So I'm pretty uh, interested to see how this station is going to turn out because it's going to be something different than we've done before. Uh, but now let me clean up all of this mess if I can figure it out. Goodbye, goodbye. And also, also we can unlock five car carriages. So we're going to make our platforms uh, five, fit five carriages, which would be 28. 28 probably, one, two, three, four. So 24, let's do 24. And then uh, let's check our math, make sure this will fit. Max, one more cell. Oh, do you know what do we want to do? Maybe we want to go off this way just a bit. Maybe, perhaps, I'm not sure. Okay, that is five. That is five. Now, how much space does this leave to put in a platform up here? Is that enough, do you think? One, two, three, six. They would have to come in. We'd need ticket machines. Maybe. Maybe we move the track this way. One, I think maybe one or two tiles. 
and that will get us a little bit closer to this entrance over here. I think I like that. Let's let's set up our uh, train track. So two tiles there, and then two tiles here. Now you can always, you know, close your station at night and sell your train tracks and redo them and put them in. Um, but you lose money. I mean, these are expensive. On hard mode, these are like uh, 50 pounds a, a square, so it's not cheap. Considering you start out with the same amount of money for each level. So, that looks weird, doesn't it? So we'd want two tiles at least, but we don't use the first three. So we cannot save some money and trim off the first three here. And I was also looking at this. We have tons of bonds, 25 bonds. I really, I love the change to this system here. Um, the 10, just that 10 bonds earlier, so you have the new technology when you start a level. I really enjoy that. Um, but there's some nice stuff in here that we never used before that we want to. One, there is, there is what? There's a level two wheelie bin that we want. Um, it is not as good as the tool tip suggests. It doesn't hold twice as much litter. Or it didn't the last time I bothered to, you know, observe it. Um, but it does hold more and... The less bins you have, the less running costs you have because it costs every time you empty this bin. Uh, so that's a good deal. We want the, the bigger wheelie bin for our utility room. Um, there is, oh, I don't even know if these still stay. Yeah, these are the same goals when I looked at the station. I wasn't sure if it changed every time you entered it or not. There's an option to build 500 pounds for a level one taser and for a megaphone. So we'll want to unlock this taser and get and get 500 pounds for it. I've never used the tasers because I never wanted to spend the bonds on it when I played because we already had the crime desk that worked, so I didn't see the point. Uh, but for 500 pounds, there's a point. But other than that, there's the kiosk here. Uh, this is like a little shop. It sells like magazines and cigarettes and water and candy and these commuters absolutely love this shop. The only thing they don't love, well, I only played with it uh, for a little bit before I restarted and started doing these videos. Um, they don't like water, so we'll have to, paying for water, so we'll have to take a look at that. Uh, but there's that, and then we have uh, this little tea station. We got a peek of that at zone one last time. Uh, so we have that. There's like a little staff sofa arcade machine exciting stuff what else was there that i wanted to play with uh signal relays oh the capacitors might be interesting because we're gonna have to um, have multiple uh machine rooms now there's these signal relay here uh this one right here i found not to be all that useful it allows you to uh, put in a control room and then use a hot key to call the trains it was really expensive but this second tier one, the signal automator, now this looks really interesting and I've never had a chance to use this. Um, connect this device to a platform and schedule trains to call there automatically at regular intervals. Uh, so that'll call the trains for us. I'm really interested in that. There's also this level one alarm. Nearby commuters will flee and leave the station when you activate this, uh, which, I mean, that's, if you have like your station is absolutely trashed and your uh, reputation is falling like a rock, I guess you can put this uh, alarm in to recover. So lots of fun stuff. Okay, the point of all that is I don't think we're going to unlock the five carriages first. We definitely want stock three. No doubt about that. Um, this they're more efficient and they carry more people. They break down, they use less fuel, um, so we want those. But five car carriages, I think we're gonna hold off on 
just because I want to buy some other things. Like, I really want to open up the station with this kiosk. So we're going to uh, get that. And I kind of want the 500 pounds from this taser. So we're going to unlock that. And I want the wheelie bin. <laughs> so we're going to unlock that. Is there anything else that we really want? The tea station, right? And we have just enough bonds to get it. So that's why I am not unlocking the five carriages at the front at the very beginning. And since we're not going to unlock the five carriages, um, that means that we need less floor tile. I hope I'm not making, I'm sure I'm not making a mistake. Because usually when we start these levels, we never had access to the, to the bigger trains right off the bat. So I'm sure it will be fine. But this will be our next purchase, I think. The, our next seven bonds, um, we'll go ahead and unlock the five car carriages. But since, since we have a five carriage track and we only have a four train a four car size train on here we can save like six tiles on each end so one two three one two three oh well it doesn't really save as much over here does it no it does not and these people are going to want to use that little section of track there so let's get rid of that and this means that we have less litter less lights to go which i like that now let's move this out some more and this gives us a nice a nice little bit of uh space to work with i am not going to i'm going to go ahead and uh, fill out our station off camera you already have a kind of a, an idea of what we're doing here um We'll cut away the center of the center tiles here to be more affordable. We're going to put our rooms off on this side. And hopefully, eventually, we'll link them up to a lobby over here. And, uh, yeah, you know what our stations look like. I will bring you back when we're done. And here we are. Here is our uh, starter station all set up and ready to go. I used every last dollar and somehow managed to lose... Uh, two points in reputation before we even open the doors. I have no idea what's causing that. I wonder if something in here is giving me a movement penalty for moving it. I am not sure, but this is the second time it happened. I'll have to record the process the next time I build, and I don't know, uh, just so I can see when we're actually losing uh, this reputation from build to uh, entering. I mean, I save... I save my stations before I start uh, because it takes me forever to build. So, I mean, there's a, a cut in these videos before I come back so we can open the station, but I'm not sure what is causing that. Now we received a grant of 500 pounds for the megaphone and the taser, and we are going to receive a thousand dollars when we open the gates. Uh, so let's do that, right? Now we have, yay! Oh, he's so happy. Love the sound effects in this game. Say that again. I've said it before, but some people hate them. I love them. I think they're brilliant. Um, now we have Super, our Super staff. Remember when we started out, I said we were really lucky? And because we are, we have um, Amelia Phillips here, who is amazing. We're going to call her in, and I think she is going to uh, take care of the station on her own until we need Phillips, who is our repair person. So these two, I suspect, will uh, take care of the station by themselves for a good while until we start expanding out here. Uh, I took away their break room. We'll have to get them. And how did we lose money already? What could possibly, didn't we, we received, oh, her salary. <laughs> how about I just stop paying attention to stuff? Cause I don't know what is going on. And I'm guessing the wrong things. Uh, speaking of which, 
I found out some information about, look how fast she is. I love Phillips. I found out some information about uh, how the commerce works. And we didn't see this. I didn't show you this. I love this little kiosk over here. Remember I said that I really like the, uh, like the little vending things? I do. Now there is four types of goods. And I also didn't realize, you, do you see the information on this platform? Now it has expected commuters. So we could wait until the train fills up before we call it. Now you get money each time your commuters uh, leave the station, but we have a pile piling up here. So uh, let's call this, <gasps> I'm such an idiot. I do this all the time. Well, let's hurry up and get this out of here. Hopefully it doesn't break down before, uh, before we get this old rust bucket out of here. Um, a vandal has entered the station. Let's see if... She's punching our trash can. Will Phillips see her? Phillips? I wonder, can they not see... If Phillips has good perception. Can they not see, like, beyond the turnstiles, maybe? Perhaps? How is our trash can? 80%? I don't think we can repair them. Maybe we want some, uh security cameras here now let's get the proper train and you can see the different like it's oh i missed it oh she just got tasered and i didn't get to see it oh now what is going on over here um let's look at our reports now closing early what is closing early I don't understand what goes on there. But let us look at our commerce. One person did not like the magazine price. How is the water doing? Oh, they seem fine with the water. The last time I had this kiosk machine, the last time, the one and only time I ever used that, they really hated the price of the water. And uh, yeah. We want to get our reputation up as fast as possible. So we have we have 10 commuters expected. Let's just call the train. Because we have all these people on the platform. And Phillips is, look at our money already. We don't have any adverts. I kept all of the ticket prices and everything, the def default prices, because I don't want to lose any of our commuters here. Let's get Phillips a break room. But there are four types of goods in the game, which means, remember when I said uh, that flower stall never sold anything and it's probably because um, there's like no adverts for it? Yeah, I really don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> now, I read a, uh, a dev blog where he was talking about the, the commerce system that he put in, he designated them as uh, four different types. So you have a food, drink, goods, and services. So those, now we wanted to get a tea station, right? Yay, tea station. Do we have enough money? Oh, it's expensive. Phillips, how old are you otherwise? And your hunger is creeping up, so you need a snack machine. So he put in four types of of goods, food, drink, goods, and services. So it's likely that the adverts, I would imagine that instead of being for specific um, products, like this newspaper billboard. Oh, well, I don't know. It says specifically newspapers. I was, I was speculating that he wouldn't have put in like a specific newspaper billboard, but it would be more along the lines of you know, this is for food, this is for drinks, and this is for goods. I don't know. So there goes that theory. Uh, the fun for me is puzzling, is figuring out the puzzle and how things work. Like, we already, I mean, this station is going to be successful. There's no doubt about that. We already, I mean, we have the game down pretty pat. Uh, keep your station clean, well lit 
and your passengers moving out, and you, and you can't lose. Uh, but figuring out the details, that is interesting to me. Now, what do we... Uh, get out here. And who... We're losing rep on this station, and I really want to figure out why. Like... Because we want to get our rep up as high as possible so we get money for it. Yeah, this water. And the cash. They're not happy with the price of the cash or the water. Let's... Oh, no. Let's lower that down two ticks. It's still five pounds profit. Now let's do four pounds. No need to be greedy. And... Let's do four dollars a bottle of water. <laughs> That's outrageous. We'll see how that goes. We want to get our reputation up as high as possible because then we can, uh... We can get 2,000 pounds. 900 for 75. What was that over there that I missed? No seat. Get over it. Bought e-cigarettes, crisps. Pricey. What is pricey? E-cigs, e-cigs. They do like their cigarettes. I wonder if we could raise the prices on the cigarettes. You know. For their help. Why are you... Can't afford... Our tickets are 10 pounds, guy. I don't think we should lower them anymore. I mean... Our station is looking pretty, uh, pretty busy for what we have going on here, right? Yeah, I don't think we need to lower it. We only have two... Okay, we need a... We need a thing. We need a wheelie bin. Here's our level two wheelie bin. We'll pop that in so she can take care of the trash. And how is our rep? 71%? I don't know if we're getting to 100 today. It would be nice, though. And, you know what, let's... Let's start expanding our platform a little bit, using some of this money. Oh, do you know what we should do before we do that? Um, what tools do we need? We'll need a Lexi will need a repair kit and well she does repair kit information tablet and something else and megaphone but we'll need a watering can for that plant that's another thing I learned pretty exciting I learned so much um, plants you can put plants in your staff room and they'll reduce despair so do you remember and in fact you know what let's put a plant in here because we can uh, do you remember when we started out the game and everyone was like a little purple frowny faces because there's the despair is high every time your staff fails at an action their despair increases and so in the beginning of the game they fail a lot the one thing that you can buy to help them is a TV, but that's not available. But you can put plants in the staff room, which I had no idea, and that reduces despair. So that is a good tip for you guys. But we'll need the watering can and a jerry can. We're getting towards the end of the day here, and I want to make sure we have these expenses covered before we close the doors. And how is our commerce stone? We lowered this so low. Do we lower it again? Let's do one more. Well, we want to make money, too. Three dollars. It's a bargain. See how that goes. Is uh, Phillips full of despair at all? One shift. No despair because she's too good. 75, good. We're well on our way. Um, let us get, and look how fast we earn that money. We have no adverts. So all of these little shops, I was like, the shops are the way to go, obviously. Um, let's get an information tablet. And do we want to call in... And this is 56%. Let's call in 
the other part of our uh, dynamic duo here, Lexi Lewis. Lewis can come in and we'll get her to pick up her tools. What are you doing, Lewis? She raced. Did I click on the, <laughs> the vending machine and said, no, come get your tools. And come get your information tablet and go help that person. Good. So we have a busy little uh, shop here. Everything is going well, I think. We're up to 79%. Can we get to 80 before the day is out? Lewis, come out here and repair that turnstile. Um, can we get a little more lobby and then maybe another ticket machine? I want to move that so bad, but I don't want to tank our reputation because we want the 2,000 pounds. Let's put in another ticket machine. Take care of our commuters. We'll rearrange this stuff once the station closes. And there's 11 commuters. Let's just call the train. We'll get them out of here, hopefully. Uh, hopefully they'll be so impressed by our station. Maybe we do another plant. Another plant. We usually have one on the platform that we don't have. There you go. Everybody take a look at that really nice plant. That's right, it's a nice plant. Nice plant. Um, I saved a copy of this station. Oh, Gloomy. What is Gloomy? Oh, let's take a look at our reports here. Okay, it looks like the water is is probably a good price now. So there is that. Tickets are a bargain, but we're going to leave it like that for now. Uh, people are sickened. I don't understand that. Needs. They need tickets, and we just put in another thing. They also need food and goods. Well, you know, we'll try. Uh, maybe we can get a hot dog stand in. How much is our power? Those stands cost a lot of energy to run. Okay, we can max. Cap so these do give us three. No, they generate two and a half. So we're generating seven and a half power and we're using 6.2. But somebody said something was gloomy. So I think we need another light. So we need another light. Why are we losing so much rep here? Platform one, what is this? Repair that again, platform one question mark. What is that? So she's like steady there going platform one question mark and we're losing rep for it? Am I under misunderstanding something? I do not know. I think it was going better when I wasn't paying any attention to this. Rep today, high prices, construction loss. What is that? Oh, I guess we lose rep for building during the day? Is this new? It must be. Do you think? That is really interesting. Okay. So for building, we built a plant and we built that ticket machine. So we lost rep for building during the day. And we also built concourse. Okay, I like that change. It means, yeah, don't build during the day. I like it. That's fine. So we will not build. 
but I don't understand why we're losing rep over here for, and we need a, but we have to build the tool room because we need a mouse thing. So rip rep. Let's just do three. If we're going to lose rep, we might as well, uh, you know, go for broke here. Rats and Lexi is our, no, Phillips is our, you know, whatever. Just go pick up that. Put it wherever you want. Pricey. Something, like, is there anything that we can do for this person? So she is just steady losing us rep. Three rep. She's just sitting there, losing us all that rep. What is going on? Well, the rat is dealt with. Unequip the rat. Lasers first, then medical, then litter. Then, whoops. Go pick up your megaphone and then you can get a bite to eat. Lexi, did that person leave? that's good yeah something's wrong we'll put in a bug report and there's Phillips getting a drink let's call her train is she that thirsty does this little tea station not relieve their thirst as much as a regular watering thing Like, look, she's steadily drinking, but, like, her hunger is ticking up pretty fast. There we go. But she drank, like, three times. Uh, repair that better, please. And let's look at our reports again. Reputation today. Construction. For building... Vandalism, high prices, well, we're up to 93%. Can we get to the last little bit before we uh, close the station for the day? Uh, Phillips, get out here and make people happy. 94? I don't think we're going to do it. 95? 95, can you do it just a little bit more? They're still losing reputation over here. 96? Phillips, why don't you have your megaphone? Go do your megaphone. And now come out here. Can we get that train in? Probably not. 96, it doesn't look like we're gonna quite get to 100. Mistakes were made. 97, we tried. 98, 99, 99. Oh, come on, one more point. <laughs> 99. We were robbed. <laughs> okay. Um, let's have everybody do their chores, you know. So get this trash. And it looks like we can no longer build. Or has that always been the case? I do not know. But it looks like we shouldn't be building when the when the station is open. Uh, but that's fine. And we lost 2% for closing early. I wonder if that's that 2% when we first started the game. Lots of stuff to figure out. That's what makes things interesting for me. <laughs> okay, you do the trash. Um, let's move, let's rearrange our lobby. We have a little bit of money. Let's. Let's get it a little bit larger and uh, you know, let's put this stuff flush against the wall. I 
I kind of want to leave room for another ticket machine. Well, we can put another ticket machine there, maybe. Maybe, perhaps. I don't know. Is that fixed this time? Go ahead and fix that. I think we want to get in another turnstile. Can we go for broke here? Another turnstile. To go to platform one. Platform one, platform one. I don't know, think we need an, another exit for right now. We have two ticket machines. And this looks pretty gloomy. So I guess they are right. Um, let's do another light over here. Do we... One, two, three, four, five. Put that there. What does that look like? It all looks pretty uh, bright to me. And we only have 490 pounds. I sh probably should have put in... What was... What did they want? They wanted food. I, sh I probably should have put in a hot dog cart. Oh, but it is what it is. Can we... Maybe this light should go down one. Down this way one. Does that light that up? We just don't want it to be gloomy. Um, Lexi, is everything repaired? You're going to have to get to work on that. And somehow we got 100% reputation. How did we get 100% reputation? <laughs> this episode is just me going, what happened? What happened? So did we get 2,000 pounds? That we did now. I don't understand. You know what? I am going to... We are going to end the episode here. I am going to uh, continue the uh, the closing routines. Lexi took care of all of that, so now we're going to go have her uh, equip the jerry can. And I will buy a fuel barrel for her. So she can refill these generators. Okay, that is going to be all for now. I'm going to finish up the closing routine, and when we come back, we'll start a new day, see if we can not maintain our 100%. Uh, we'll be looking to open up our second entrance and uh, getting our second platform up and running. It looks like the money is ticking in nicely. We'll put in some more adverts. Um, before we make that push to to expand our station. We'll make sure that our lobby is up to snuff. We'll extend our platform. Uh, all that good stuff. Uh, exciting times, right? Maybe? <laughs> I don't know. I hope you're having fun. I am having fun. And yeah, that is all. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you for the likes and the comments. I always appreciate them. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.